Hey, good morning, New Hope. My name is Kelly. I'm your online campus director. Thanks for joining us for a daily hope. Today, I wanna to talk to you about trusting in God. And many of you know that I have epilepsy. I've talked about it many times. Uh, six years ago when my daughter was born, I started having grand mal seizures. Then it went into this different form of epilepsy and then a different kind. And um, I'm fine now it's controlled with medication. But during the whole time when it was all happening and just so many uncertainties and crazy and you just, you know, you question, what can I do to get rid of this? And so you pray, maybe you fast and you just look at other people who've been healed and you say, well, what did you do that, you know, that God healed you? And Pastor Bill talked a few weeks ago about a formula and how we're all looking for the formula to be healed. What can I do? And in all of my reading and all of my searching, you know, if you've been sick or you've known someone, it's like you just consume all of this information. And in all the books that I've read and everything that I've looked into, I have one conclusion. And it's what I always go to, you know, when I'm talking to other people about what they're struggling with. And it comes from the book of Job. And in the book of Job, you know, we learn about this man, Job, and he loses everything. He was a very wealthy man. He loses his home, his children, his servants, everything. And at one point at the end of Job, he asks God all these questions. He speaks to this guy and he just has this litany of questions for God. And then in Job 38, I'm gonna kind of hop through. Um, Job 38, it says, then the Lord spoke to Job out of the storm and he said, who is this that obscures my plans with words without knowledge? Brace yourself like a man and I will answer you and you shall answer me. And there's a whole thing which is really amazing if you take the time to read all these things that God says, they're really beautiful. But I'm gonna scoot ahead to Job 40. Then it says, the Lord said to Job, will the one who contends with the Almighty correct him? Let him who accuses God answer him. So God's like, tell me this. Okay, so Job says, I am unworthy. How can I reply to you? I love this. I put my hand over my mouth. I spoke once, but I have no answer twice. I will say no more. Okay, then Job 42, he replies to the Lord, you can do all things. And then he says, surely I spoke of things I did not understand too wonderful for me to know. And that's what I always go to, you know, in my mind, I literally put my hand over my mouth and I say, you know what, God, I've questioned you once, but I'm not going to do it again because, you know, you have spoken of things too wonderful for me to know. And you have a plan and I just have to believe that I don't understand. I don't get it. But what I come down to is I trust you. And so when I do all of my searching and I, you know, I speak to people, you know, the end of it says repent is the way that it ends. And so to me, the repenting comes from I repent for my lack of trust. And so if you're struggling right now, just consider, you know, God has a plan that you don't understand, but do you trust him? So that's what I always come down to is do I trust God? All right, let's go ahead and pray. God, we thank you so much. We thank you that you are God and that we don't have to be, we don't have to worry about it, but we just pray that while you're doing things that are confusing to us, that we don't understand, I just pray that you would help us to put our trust in you, God. We have seen throughout our lives, um, there's that song, I've seen the evidence. And so we've seen the evidence of how you've been in our lives. And we just pray that as we move forward, we remember those things, we will look on those things, we look into the Bible and we see your promises and we just say, God, I don't get it, but I do trust in you. So thank you that we are your children and you take care of us. In your name, amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.